everybody welcome back to my channel today I have a bit of a different video it's actually kind of like a compilation video showing you the process that I went through to buy my wide format printer and plotter for my sticker business these clips span across sort of the last six weeks and are not meant to be super informative sorry about that it's more just to document the process that I went through so if you are sort of going through the same thing or considering it you might find it useful just to see kind of the thought processes that went into it for me I know when I was looking I found it really daunting and there wasn't a lot of advice out there so I thought maybe just even just showing how I sort of went about it might be useful to anyone as I said it was a really intimidating process but I've been using silhouette portraits for five years and it just felt like the right time to make the upgrade to a more commercial solution I was finding, especially with my printers, that the sort of home professional ones that I have been using just can't keep up with the level of production that I do and it causes them to break so quickly and I really wanted something that would stand up to sort of higher volume usage. Cutting is also something that takes up a large proportion of what I actually do in the business so it felt like the right step to automate that. There is a loose structure to the clips that I've got but honestly it's just a lot of testing and random updates but I hope you find it interesting anyway. Do let me know if you have any questions down below and with all that being said, let's get into the video. So I'm a weird hand movement there. <laughs> so I'm about to call Graph Tech. I emailed them yesterday about a cutter. I'm interested in the CE7000 and I emailed basically just like explaining about my business and what I want it for and I didn't really have a specific question. I was just saying like do you think this cutter would be suitable for me and told them the printer I'm considering. So um, I sent that email and he just replied and said, can I ring him? And I really don't want to ring him, but I'm gonna try and like not be weird about it and just call because I know calls are gonna be like way more efficient for sorting out things quickly. So yeah, I'm gonna ring him and see what he suggests. But I'm a little bit nervous that I'm already considering the cutter when I haven't like picked a printer. Like, I know which printer I kind of want, but I've not decided on it yet. But I did tell the guy that I'm still in the process of getting my printer, so I obviously don't want to buy the cutter yet. So, as long as I stick to my guns and don't come away, like, having bought a cutter. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to ring him now. He was really nice. I don't know if, like, you heard very much. But, um, it sounds like it's... It will work. It will be an okay cutter. There was a few queries. Well, there was just one query, really. Um... With the kiss cutting and the die cutting, if I want to be able to kiss cut and die cut in the same pass and not have to unload and reload the media, I will need a different machine. So it's whether it's worth getting the machine that does that to save like the constant reloading and unloading, or if I just want to get the this cheaper machine and do that basically. But yeah, so basically he's going to find out if that really is the case. He thinks it's true, but he's going to find out for sure if that would be, um, like, how it would work. And he's going to bring me back. But my decision for the cutter is pretty much 100% based on how the print samples come back. So yeah, this video is going to be so weird, like, I don't know how I'm structuring it. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I'm getting print samples from a lady who is like a Canon dealer and she's sending me samples of my stickers on her printer that I'm planning on buying. <laughs> so I'll be able to see exactly how they look. But yeah, I need to go and do like actual work now and not research. So I'll talk to you in a bit. So I've been speaking to a lady called Kate at a business called uh, Graphic Design Supplies and she is actually a sort of semi-local business to me so I really wanted to go with someone that was local. She is sending me some test prints of my stickers on a printer that I'm interested in. It's the Canon Pro 2100. Um, that's the one I'm sort of eyeing up and I think will be what I want but she's sending me test prints of her Canon Pro 2000 which is apparently like very similar. So Hopefully they're gonna come tomorrow. I just got the shipping notification and they're coming with DPD, which is like the most reliable courier that we have really in the UK. <laughs> so um, so I did get this exciting email just letting me know and I'm gonna open them with you tomorrow and hopefully we will be impressed. I'm really nervous that I'm like filming this video and it's not actually gonna go anywhere, but like you'll never see this if that's the case, so it's fine. But yeah, I just thought I would let you know that those are sort of on the way. I'm so excited. I really, really, really hope that this is like the right step 
for Panaface because I really can't go on using all these silhouettes and these like home professional printers that really aren't made for this kind of level of printing. It would just like speed up everything, it would be so much more efficient. So yeah, I've been speaking to Kate and we think that this will be a good printer option so I will show you the samples when I get them. Hi guys, I thought I would update you on the paper samples because they arrived yesterday but I actually didn't get around to telling the camera. Anyway, um, I will show you uh, some like b-roll of the samples that I got. You probably won't be able to see on camera like a difference between my current paper and the paper that I'm testing. But I will explain a little bit about it. So I wasn't sure how many samples to ask for because I didn't want to be like really cheeky and get loads of sheets but I also wanted to get like an idea of the range of stickers I have in my shop. Just a quick spoiler alert, I'm going to be talking about the paper samples that I got in the next clip and I did get samples of the January and February mystery kit. So although these kits have sort of been shipped for a while now, if you don't want to see them, don't watch, but you've probably seen them already. So just a warning. So these are the samples that I got and they actually did come on a roll. She sent the entire roll and then these only took up like a tiny portion of it so I probably could have asked for more and used up the entire roll but anyway these are the samples that I got and I'm very impressed. Um, it's, it's a very nice print. The quality is extremely good. I would say it's better than my current printer, well obviously it's better because it has more ink cartridges, but the print, look, there's absolutely no graininess, which is something that I have an issue with, with a lot of sort of home based printers, there's always grainy sort of dots in the print on the solid colours, so there's none of that, there's no, no spots or anything, the only thing is you can kind of see the texture of the vinyl, but I can see that on the white blank parts and you absolutely won't be able to see it on the camera. I tried to take photos and I can't, it's, like, it's that subtle. And also like you have to remember, no one is looking at your stickers like this, the way that I am inspecting it. So you sort of need to sort of look at it from sort of this distance, you can't see. So looking at it from like this distance is kind of how people are gonna see your stickers. But I'm very happy with the print. It's, it's very nice, the details are extremely sharp especially the blacks like the text is very very sharp and crisp and then I wanted to get a sample of some more sort of graphic kind of printing and the full boxes look amazing the level of detail in the like dark print is extremely good so if I ever offer like a really really dark kit I'll have to do it in premium matte only and even then like it prints nicely but it's not quite as nice as this and then looking at the clip art like you can make out really fine details that you wouldn't be able to make out on my removable matte paper so yeah i am i was very happy when these came through the door um i couldn't wait to see them so i'm going to quickly do a pen test because i haven't actually done that so i'm going to test my fine sort of sharpie type pen a pilot g2 an ink joy 0.7 i think and then my like cheap amazon gel pen so all of those are wrote completely fine, it's pretty much like writing on paper, none of them are smudged, well the pilot smudged a bit but the pilot smudges anyway. Um, <laughs> but there's no real point in me pen testing because I'm most likely not going to use this paper, like I've got a lot of papers to test. So that's my next sort of immediate job. But overall, extremely happy with the print quality, it couldn't really have been better, I did start to worry like a few days before the samples arrived I was like what if this printer is not the one and then I'm sort of back to the drawing board because I don't really know what drew me to this printer but as I was researching more and more about it I was like this has to be the kind of printer I want so I'm very happy that I'm impressed with the print and I did actually go and buy the printer last night so I think that's kind of the biggest purchase I've made for the business which is really quite like exciting. So I did buy the printer but it's on sort of a back order, pre-order kind of situation. Canon are sending to the dealerships in sort of, I can't remember the exact phrase that the Canon dealer I'm working with said but they are sort of shipping the printers to them in rotation and then I'll get mine eventually but I said I was okay to wait because I'm not really in a hurry. So when they have that ready to ship to me they will be in touch. So that's kind of where we are for now. I did also order the cutter, I was kind of set on that decision, it was just waiting for the printer samples to arrive so that I knew I was going to get the printer and then when I was confident on the printer I knew I could order the cutter because I didn't want to have a cutter and then not really have any direction to go with the printer first. So I ordered that and that's coming tomorrow. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do with that for the next like few weeks because 
I can't really do a lot without having the printer. So I'll show you the cutter when it arrives tomorrow, but probably won't have a lot to show you apart from like an unboxing. And I think I'm gonna spend the next few weeks like getting paper samples so that I'm ready to test them when the printer comes. And that's probably where I'm gonna be until the printer arrives. So yeah, this was an exciting update. This is kind of like the major one where I've made my decisions and ordered everything. So hopefully this was all the right decision. I'm still very nervous, like, what if I've decided everything wrong, what if expanding is a bad move, but I think I just kind of have to do it at this point now, like, the alternative is getting an employee, and I don't really want to go down that road yet while it's still sort of avoidable. I would absolutely love to work with a person, like, I'm very sociable and I actually find working on my own quite difficult, but there's a lot of extra paperwork and like insurances and stuff you need to deal with behind the scenes to employ someone. So I am putting that off as long as I can. So the alternative was some more machinery. So I'm gonna leave this clip here and I will catch up with you when I've got a cutter to show you. So the cutter just arrived and it's in this massive box. It's also really heavy. So I haven't opened it or anything. I've literally just brought it into the office. It also came with this, which I think is a stand, or this is maybe the basket. And then there is another box here, which is either the stand or the basket, whatever the other one isn't. I don't think it says on it, Graftech ST0118, whatever that is. So yeah, very exciting. I'm gonna put this together later. It was actually quite tricky to put the stand together, but it is up and I have just put it in this corner for now. This is not where it will stay. I've got all of the like plastic bits to take off still, the protective packaging, and then I'm gonna plug it in and hopefully it turns on. So the last time I showed you the graph tech, I actually think I had it back to front. <laughs> I've rotated it now. We put it on the stand in the wrong direction. It was facing the other way. So this is how it should be with no gap at the front. And I have yet to do anything apart from turn it on and select the language. I mean, I can turn it on for you now. It just has a power button here. And then the thing comes on the screen. And it starts to like whir up and make this noise and then that's all I've really done like I haven't tried to load anything I haven't done any settings I haven't done anything with the blade like it's got two positions so like the back position and the front position don't know anything about that apart from that it exists these are the like media rollers that sort of secure the media in place but they, they should move and I don't know how you move them because like they don't move at the minute so yeah, and I've learned a few random things like these blue dots are where you can position these rollers. So you can put the first one like anywhere within here. And I've also learned that the wider, <laughs> the wider format machines have four rollers and mine has two. So just full of random facts at the minute, but no idea what to do with it. So I had a delivery of vinyl today and I'm hoping to, it's a big roll, it's like, let me show you. It's 610 mil wide. Um, oh, so heavy, obviously, because it's like a massive roll. So the backing is white, which is good. <laughs> it feels really nice, and it's nice and thin. Let me peel a bit. Yeah. I mean, it, it just seems like vinyl, so I guess we get cutting. Okay, so that fits. That's almost perfect. So if I just cut roughly but basically I want my rough cut to be just big enough to cover an A4 sheet and then I can go in and like neaten the edges up so it's actually A4 I wonder how they cut paper in like factories because it's definitely not like this <laughs> so I'm going to just try it with my one A4 sheet and see how it prints so I've printed my kit in my removable vinyl and I'm really happy with it. The stickers remove really well. I've stuck one on my notepad and let me try and get a good like grip on it so you can see. But it's just peeling right off. It doesn't leave anything behind. And here's the sticker and it can just be, this is such a bad angle, it can just be restuck on like so and as you can see like it is lying flat it's not peeling or anything so that's kind of my let me stick it straight because it's going to annoy me that's kind of my like big test of the adhesive is that i need it to be removable cleanly which it is 
and I want to be able to reuse it. Oh, I've got I've stuck a, and I want to be able to reuse it again, like not forever because we we not we don't reuse stickers forever and ever, but I do want to be able to reuse it without any problems. Like sometimes with. Um, my removable matte paper if you peel it up the sticker is curled too much you can't actually stick it back down and it won't stay down so that is kind of my test i've also put some of the stickers in my reusable sticker album these are oops stickers so that's why they look kind of messed up but i'm going to see how they do once they've settled they did stick down really well and they're not like there's no danger of them falling out or anything but I want to check that they don't stick too well and then become difficult to peel up. I'm going to plan with this kit this week and then I can experience using it. Based on how it's come out, I don't think it's going to be any issues, but I am excited to use it in sort of action. Comparing the print from the new printer, I've, I've cut my sheet up. As you can see, I had to send a few examples to my friend, but I think... I think my printer is printing slightly grainier than the new printer. So I'm very happy with this one. I'm going to still try and get a few more samples from other suppliers, but if I did end up going with this one, I would not be disappointed. I just want to check that it is the best, basically. So I'm happy that my method of testing it worked, though. I wasn't sure if I was going to struggle trimming it to A4, but it was fine. So I'm very happy. <laughs> Hi guys, I didn't know where to put the camera so hopefully it's fine here, but it's here! It came yesterday and I'm sorry I didn't give you an update before but honestly yesterday was such a mad day with receiving the delivery, setting everything up, getting it inside, it's so heavy. Like we knew it was going to be big and heavy but did not really know the extent to which it would be big and heavy, so very big, very heavy. If you get this printer just be warned it also doesn't fit through the door so it has to go around through the garden and yeah we got it inside and yesterday I just spent like most of the day like assembling it setting it up getting the software and drivers installed I did install them first on my Mac and realized that I should probably use my PC because it's more powerful and can support like the massive files because my files are like 24 inches wide and however long I decide to make them. So I thought rather than make my Mac struggle, I would install it all on my PC. So that is what I'm gonna to do today. I did manage to print some things, so I'm gonna show you. So this is just my kit as I design it right now in Photoshop. And you definitely can't see like any kind of quality. Let me try and move that closer. But it's super sharp. I'm so happy with the quality. This is on vinyl self-adhesive matte vinyl. Like I'm trying to make them fit the width of the paper so that I can make my cut lines like use the space efficiently. So that's what I did with this layout. However, I don't know if you can tell that one on camera, but the colors are a lot duller. And basically I hadn't synchronized the color profiles across Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. I'm a complete newbie to Illustrator. Like Photoshop is my program that I use all the time know absolutely nothing about Illustrator and I'm really surprised how different they are which is a stupid thing to say because if they were similar they would make it one program but yeah so I'm learning on the job but this is how my Illustrator print turned out and I was quite disheartened originally I was like oh no like am I not going to be able to print from Illustrator I mean the quality is still amazing but it's it's the dullness and I couldn't figure out the difference but I think it's the colour profile, so I've changed that now and it looks a lot different on screen but I'm going to test print it as well but I don't want to do another test print until I have like got some kind of cutting situation so I can try and cut it as well so my main job for today is to try and cut something with this cutter which you can't see right now but it's literally right here um, and yeah, that's, that's kind of the goal for today I'm trying to take it easy and not not give myself too much to do each day and then get stressed out when I can't achieve it. Because I didn't think I was going to print a kit yesterday. I thought I was going to print like a picture and be amazed that I printed something. So the fact that I printed a kit, even though, it can't, even though I can't cut it, I'm like very happy with. So first day of having the printer, happy and can't really like ask for more at the minute. I'm very happy. It's just massive. Like we knew it was going to be big. Did we know it's going to be this big? Not really. <laughs> so I've got my graph tech videos up. I've watched a few of them, but haven't watched a lot of them. I was going to kind of just wing it, which 
is what I'm going to do. I don't know why I said I was going to because that's exactly what I'm going to do. This shows the difference in colour a lot better. So you can see the bottom one was the illustrator one where it just seems to be dull. But I'll keep you updated and let you know if I fix that because I'm fairly sure I know what the problem is. It's the colour profile thing. Also, my office is a huge mess because, I mean, just look at the size of it. Why is it this big? It's obnoxiously large. <laughs> anyway, the plan is the printer's going to go along this back wall in the corner and then the cutter is going to go here, so next to it. But I'm... <sighs> It's, I'm going to have to do a lot more testing to be confident getting rid of my old setup. Obviously I won't get rid of it, get rid of it, but I am nervous about putting it all away at the minute, just in case I need it. Because obviously like I'm a working shop trying to figure it out, although I pause new releases, still got orders to ship. So if I do need to cut something, like I need these machines, oh, it's a little bit stressful. I'm about to attempt my first cut job. I did a little bit of test cutting to see the blade thicknesses and I've picked this one in the middle and I mean it's under the registration mark so I guess I just click OK. Oh my god. <laughs> so quick, what's it doing? Oh god, an error, okay of course. <laughs> it's cutting. I mean, I have no idea if it's cutting it correctly, but I mean, it looks right. Oh, it's going too quick. I can't even keep up. This is so cool. Okay, we'll show you when it's done. So I'm back and I've cut a kit. 24 hours ago, I did not think I would be in this position. So I'm really pleased that I've managed to cut a kit. Like, it looks like my stickers. So I'm really happy with that. Um, I need to tweak my sort of layout at the minute because it's not working what I thought I was going to be able to do. I figured the die cutting out. I joined a Facebook group called Graphtech America Users, I think, and they fixed it literally in about five minutes. That was amazing. But I did have a bit of a oops here. So that's more to do with how I'm laying my files out, I think. But yeah, I just thought I would show you I'm at this stage now and I'm really, really happy uh, that I'm here. Like, <laughs> that sounds so weird, but honestly, yesterday I was in such a state. I was definitely being a bit dramatic, but I honestly like couldn't see it working and I was like, oh my god, I made a huge mistake. I've done this like big investment and it's not going to work. And I am quite like a catastrophizer, like if it's not going right, I can't see the bigger picture and I couldn't see all the things I had achieved with it. But yeah, I'm feeling, oh, the glitter looks really weird. I don't know if that's a printer thing, but that, yeah, it must be. I don't know if that's the printer or if it's because I'm printing an illustrator, but that glitter looks really bizarre. Well, I'll have to look into that. That's like a separate issue. Well, it's not really an issue. It's just different. It doesn't have to be wrong. So yeah, the kiss cut is perfect. I've just peeled a sticker off. It's getting stuck to me, but if you can see, I'm really happy with that. And this is printed on like the medium quality. It's not the highest quality, but I don't want to waste my ink on numerous test pages. I've used about 20 meters of vinyl just testing and I haven't really got anywhere yet. It's probably easier for me to show you like this, but stickers peel up super clean. Really, really, really happy with how they've cut. I just cut my first like big sheet of stickers, which is really bizarre. So these are A1 size. Um, let me get it off. It's like perforated, so you can kind of pop them out. Um, here we have, I accidentally printed my cut lines because I'm so like a complete beginner and make random mistakes like that all the time. But yeah, I managed to get 15 sheets on one sheet of A1. I can print bigger than A1, but I thought I would kind of, I wanted to do like a big-ish amount, but not so big that it's like overwhelming. But yeah, super impressed that I managed to cut them. I'm not sure if I need such a big like, piece of vinyl remaining between them or if I can use this space, but I'm glad I managed to get three in a row kind of horizontally because that's sort of the best use of space for my sheet size. And that is everything I filmed sort of during the process. I'm sorry that towards the end it all got a bit sparse. After getting the machines, I realised that the learning curve was going to be a bit steeper than I'd originally anticipated. That's why there's not a lot of cohesive footage from that point onwards. I do have a happy update though. I have managed to finish a kit. 
So this is a sticker kit that I've put together for new releases next week and I cut it completely on the new machine so I'm really happy with that. I feel like I finally nailed the method. It did take me probably a solid week of just testing things before I managed to create a product that I was happy with. There were a few bumps in the road but honestly it's so worth it to know that I've got it sorted now and this will speed up my process so much in the future. I can make higher quality products and I'm just so happy that I did make the jump. You have seen six weeks of clips, but I've been umming and ahhing over this decision for the best part of a year, and I was just way too nervous to actually make sort of concrete steps towards getting the equipment. It is the biggest and probably the most riskiest investment I've ever done for the business, but it's opened so many doors and freed up so much time for me that I can put into new products, expanding ranges, and just improving efficiency in the business in general. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and it's probably shed some light over where I've been for the last few weeks. I did kind of disappear from studio vlogs and didn't give you like a proper answer where I was going. I'm gonna do a video going over the new releases, the new paper, a uh, pen test, things like that, just to show you the new products. Cause obviously there'll be a bit of a change to my stickers going forward, but all that is coming very soon. As I said at the start, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and please consider subscribing to my channel. I do small business videos and studio vlogs, stuff like that. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.